so you have that kind of your skill set and you think you're pretty good at some things. I read a bunch of books about design. I did some programming. Um, but in the end, uh, your designers will know a lot more about design than you know about design. Your engineers will know a lot more about engineering than you know about engineering. Same with your researcher. Um, same with your marketing team. They will all like know a lot more about their specialties than you know about their specialties. What the question that raises is, um, why are you the one making decisions? And <clears throat> should you be the one making decisions? And uh, what is actually the value that you're adding in the decision-making pro process, given that so many other people uh, know so much more about all this stuff than you do? Um, what I kind of came to the conclusion is that a very important role that you can play is getting all those people together and having them kind of debate on certain topics and certain decisions. Um, and I use the word debate here because people like get pretty fierce about it. They have strong opinions. Um, and a designer will think about things very differently than an engineer will think about things. A marketeer will come in with a completely different angle. Um, and having those kind of debates and having people kind of passionately discuss what they think um, the right decision would be, what they think the focus area should be, etc. cetera, um, that I think is extremely valuable and something that, uh, that in my team I definitely try to encourage a lot and definitely happens a lot.